Human centrifuges have been used to prepare astronauts for space flight since the 50s. The early astronauts called it sadistic, diabolical, and a monstrous apparatus. But I just had to find out for myself, didn't I? <laughs> Space, the final frontier. When the Soviets launched the first satellite into space in 1957, it spurred the US goal to land a man on the moon by the end of the 60s. G-force training for potential astronauts started in earnest, and the human centrifuge came into its own. Experiencing the G-forces that astronauts endure comes with a health warning. A team of doctors need to decide if I'm fit for a spin on the gruesome merry-go-round. What well, could go wrong? If we go up to your limit, you will just lose the consciousness. So I just pass out? Yes. And then you turn off the centrifuge? Mm, I should. OK, right, <laughs> OK. Right, I'm about to experience three or possibly four G today, right? That's three or four times the force of gravity on me. But if it goes right, who knows? This could be the start of the Irish space program. Athlone, we have a problem. <laughs> Laugh until you can. <laughs> what have I volunteered for? Over three Gs, I would like you to tense your muscle. Once you start tensing your muscle, you have to hold it until the centrifuge stops. Hopefully, we will go up to something like 5 to 5.5 Gs. And if you release muscles during 5.5 Gs, you will pass out. Do not release your muscle, OK? OK. Are you ready? Yes. you need to be an astronaut, but um, Commander Hatfield, I'm coming for your job. I've trained for a full two and a half minutes at slightly less than the G that you've experienced. So I reckon with that, and maybe maybe a fast course over the weekend, I could go to space. <laughs> <laughs> 